Yo, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, by Hashem HaMashiach, Yahweh Shai. Coming at you again. This is just a few minutes with the Peacemaker. I'm going to start at uh, today with the book of Sirach, chapter 2 and verse 1. A lot of us has heard this is a staple in the Israelite community. Sirach, chapter 2 and verse 1. But there's something that I want to pull out very special. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright. And constantly endure, make not haste in time of trouble, cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased in thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. So we're gonna we are always gonna go through hard times. When we come to serve the Lord, this is why he told us to set our heart aright and constantly endure. He said, when thou comes to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation and constantly endure. But the key point that I want to bring out today is it says cleave unto him and depart not away. So a lot of times when things are taken away from us, we go through hard times, we go through hardship, we go through a, a, a chaotic um, situation in our life where uh, maybe a loved one had passed or you got your car taken away or you just lost your job, whatever the case may be. A lot of times we like to be like, we like to think, well, at least I still have my wife or at least I still have my child. I have my children with me. At least I still have my home or at least I still have my dignity or at least I still have this. The scripture is telling us to cleave unto the most high God it says, cleave unto him and depart not away. The Most High God will never leave you. Your children will leave you. Your wife will leave you. You can lose your home. You can lose your dog. You can lose whatever you want. But you can't lose the Most High, Most High God if you stay close to him. If you keep pushing and, and, and trying to get closer to the Most High God, he's never going to leave you. He's never going to forsake you. Right. I want to bring this out too. this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 26 and verse three, Isaiah, chapter 26, and verse three. It says. It says thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. So the most high God is going to keep you in perfect peace if your mind is fixated, fixated on on the most high God, right? So he's going to keep, you're going to have peace no matter what you go through, no matter if you lose your job, no matter if you lose your car, your, 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 you know, God forbid your loved ones, he's going to keep you in perfect peace. He's going to give you the understanding that everything is going to be okay. And so it's okay. I lost my job. Uh, I can't pay my bills. Um, but you know, it's going to be okay. I know the most high God's got me. He's, he's, uh, uh, there's something that I need to see. Obviously he's wanting me to see something, right? So the most high God, it says, thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. Trust in the Lord forever. This is what it says. It says, trust in the Lord forever for the Lord, Yahweh is everlasting strength. So you're supposed to trust in the Lord, not for just a time, not just when you're going through hardship, not when you're just having a good time. It's forever. It's a constant trust in the Most High God, man. Lord willing, this brought you a little a level of peace. I pray that it did, and you learned something from it. So this is just a few minutes with the peacemaker, and I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, by Hashem HaMashiach, Yahweh Shai. Shalom.